also this crop would not be going into the food system. So obviously some of it is. Australia's first genetically modified food crop, canola, is now being harvested in New South Wales and Victoria. Without some sort of data, proper scientific, independently assessed data, we have actually no idea whether this is going to be better for farmers or not. In a few months, the oil from these GM canola seeds will be on supermarket shelves. And farmers who grow conventional canola are worried. Yes, I'm very concerned about the uh, GM contamination on our property. To start with, we have put in GM-free certified canola. Gay Marshall and her husband have been growing canola in Victoria for 30 years and they don't want to farm genetically modified canola. We have 40 acres of uncontaminated seed, but if the seed that we bought this year from New Seed shows one ounce of contamination in it, in any form which we will have tests done, we will know we have been spiked. The problem for non-GM farmers is canola seeds are tiny. They're easily spread by wind, kangaroos and rabbits. But let's say my neighbour's growing a GM crop and my neighbour has not notified me because it's not mandatory to notify your neighbours. And there's only a fence like this that separates us, then my conventional crop next door to a genetically engineered crop could well be contaminated in the first, say, five metres. It's up to the non-GM farmers to keep it out and ensure that their crop is uh, not contaminated rather than the onus being on the GM grower to actually contain their crop, provide the buffer, buffer zones and be responsible for it. Greenpeace has already found one case of a GM canola plant growing outside a crop boundary. These two red lines indicate that it is genetically engineered canola growing outside the boundary of the crop. The added problem for non-GM farmers is they will have to pay the biotech companies when their fields become contaminated with a GE product. We will end up having to pay royalties for seed that we never had to pay for before and Monsanto has said that that will be next year about $20 a tonne. Each farm will have to pay $1,000 upfront fee for technical usage agreement. So that's a cost that we've never had to have before and what do we get for that? we get to grow a crop that consumers don't particularly want. This is canola seed and as you can see it's very small and it runs very freely and you can blow it away very easily. Now this machine here is used for cutting canola prior to harvest and a large amount of the canola is cut by contractors travelling all over the state cutting canola. And you can see that the seed can get built up along the front here inside these belts and all over the machine and it's very difficult to guarantee that it's cleaned out when you move from farm to farm and of course as a consequence of that that contamination will be carried around the state by these machines. In Lockhart, Grain Corps is handling the GE canola crop. The trucks they use to transport the GE canola are supposed to be clearly marked. This one isn't. How much of that GM canola is going to fall out along the road? It is naturally going to fall out along the road if you can't hold water in a truck you cannot hold canola seed. If it does start germinating along the roads, how are the people next to those roads going to feel about it getting near close to their paddocks? I think there will be an uproar with farmers. There's no one overseeing this, there's no one enforcing any kind of compliance, and there doesn't seem to be any will to ensure that the rules are adhered to. Farmers are also concerned they'll end up having to grow a product no one wants. People are wary of GM foods and if given the choice they will not choose to eat um, foods derived from GM ingredients and so that means that that makes um, my job as the farmer I need to respect that consumer choice and, uh, and I, I think the best way is to not grow GM crops. Is there is huge consumer resistance so who actually wants to buy this? And domestic, whether it's domestic or for export market, that's a huge consideration for us. We need to be growing what our consumers want to buy. The problem for consumers is we won't know if the canola oil we buy actually contains genetically modified product. Oils are exempt from GM labelling laws. If consumers are really serious about this, they must get up and stand up to be counted.